Yeah, they are. They are there. All right. Well, again, again, again. Have fun. Oh baby, oh baby. You do this. I'm yeah. Mess with you. <laughs> Which one was that you should, for? You, should, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, ladies and gentlemen, we're practicing a behavioral checklist. <laughs> Behavior checklist, right? So anyway, no, <coughs> sorry, sorry. Um, behavior checklist is the word we're after. Uh, term, word, whatever. Um, so a behavior checklist is just that. It's a checklist of the the behavior, specific skills that you want someone to perform and the conditions under which you want to perform them. What? You want them to perform them. So um, <laughs> funny thing, we went through a checklist today. Did you bring the lights? Yes. Did you bring the camera? Yes. Did you bring the table? Yes. Did you bring the iPad? Yes. Did you bring the microphone? No. See? <laughs> behavior checklist. So did, we had all these behaviors planned, right? Um, and then one of them was not engaged in, so we had to engage in some other behaviors to bring the microphone back. Um, actually, it was all on me. Brad had nothing to do with it. I completely forgot it. So, <clears throat> but the point being that it's just a checklist, that perf it's a description of behaviors that you would like performed. Um, some behavior checklists are used as assessments. So you can do, and I'm not going to get into the specific names of them because then we have to, yeah, anyway. Um, but there are some specific checks, checklists that uh, that you use to assess of whatever behavior that you're interested in. Did it happen? Did it not happen in this setting? Did it happen in that happen in, in that setting? And so on and so forth. So anyway, behavior checklists are really easy. They're used for assessment. Have a good day.